What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Swords Dance Torterra team for Regulation E. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, guys, if you want to support me just a little bit extra, consider becoming a member. Link is down in the description below. But the first Pokemon that we are going to be talking about in today's team preview is going to be Suin Arca. Hisuian Arcanine has been that Pokemon that ever since it's been released into the game has been so solid on the ranked ladder. This one's got Intimidate with the Assault Vest as item and then rocking Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Rock Slide, and Terra Blast with that very Terra type. We got Sword Sands for Terra in our second slot and it's got the Shell Armor as its ability and the Loaded Dice as item to help Bullet Seed go as many turns as it can. It's got High Horsepower, Protect, Bullet Seed, and Sword Sands like we already mentioned. In our third slot, we got Milotic, and just like Arcanine, it's one of those Pokemon that you really can't just go wrong with. It's got Competitive with Leftovers as item, Rock and Protect, Icy Wind, Recover, and Scald. Fourth slot is going to be our support Pokemon, that is going to be Clefairy. So Clefairy is here for two reasons. First reason, follow me with a Torterra. Second reason, follow me with Frigoraph. Its main purpose is just to follow me and help one of them set up. Torterra's got the Sword Sands, Frigoraph's got the Nasty Plots, so Clefairy is a perfect Pokemon to pair up with it. It's got Friend Guard with the Evil Light, and the moveset is follow me, protect, heal, pulse, and helping hand. In our fifth slot, we got that Frigoraph with Armor Tail and the Safety Goggles, and then Trick Room, Psy Shock, Hyper Voice, and Nasty Plot for that plus two special attack boost. Final slot is going to be the Dark Urshifu, Unseen Fist and a Choice Scarf to make it as fast as possible. It's got Wicked Blow, U-Turn, Close Combat, and then Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Sword Stance Torterra team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Illamize and Walder Spring Ogre Pond team. They also have Shen Pao and Dragonite, which is a deadly combo. And then Reggie Draco and Okie Doki. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? I'm kind of leaning towards Clefairy and maybe a Torterra setup, or even Frigoraph Frigor could be pretty solid here, right? I kind of like that because then I can pop Trick Room and I can really start getting it. We got Torterra or Frigoraph. Torterra would be cool because Torterra is the man, but Frigoraph might be a little bit better just because we can set up Trick Room and really get after it. Hmm. Options, options, options. I'm actually just gonna go Torterra. Let's have some fun with Torterra. Arcanine's gonna be solid for intimidating the back end, so I am gonna go into that. Actually, no, I'm not. Because they do have Guard Dog and then they have Inner Focus. So I'll go Urshfu, and I think I'll just go Milo. I like having Milo here. I do like having Milo, so you know what? That's for exactly what we're gonna do. Or should I just go for it? I like for it. Milo, you're in the back end. You are in the back end, but there it is. That's our team. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if you guys haven't checked out my brand new playthrough on the channel, Super Mario Wonder, you guys gotta go check it out. That game is phenomenal. It's a very chill, relaxing game, and it's really, really good. It's definitely a top tier Nintendo game, and in my opinion, a must get. By the time I upload this, I should have part one up already, and part two probably coming out very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. But Okie Dogie comes out here alongside with Illumise. And Illumise has Prankster and it can do a lot. It's kind of scary to me. But from here, we're just going to go for a nice lovely follow me. And I think it's just a simple sword dance here. A nice simple dancing of the swords. I'm going to get the sword dance boost here. And I'm going to look to just follow me with Kaferi until it probably dies out. And then from there, I can potentially bring in Photograph. Maybe protect the Torterra and set up a Trick Room. And then kind of get after it that way. But they're going to end up terrestrializing Okie Dogie turn Okie dokie gets a turn 1 Terra. It's going to go into a straight Poison type. I do have high horsepower to deal with that, which is really good. So we'll see what he's doing. Probably Poison Jabbing. I was going to Trash Slice a Clefairy for that reason, but... If I can just get off of Sword's Hands, that's going to be beautiful. So he ends up going for a Trick. He's going to take my Evil Light, so I'm dead there. I'm dead all day. You were going to take my Evil Light. And what do you give me? You're giving me the lag. But Clefairy without Evil Light is just dead in one shot. So see you later, Clefairy. Thank you for following me the shot. I really appreciate it. So there's that. We can now bring out Frigoraf with Armor Tail, which is going to be really good for us. And I get this Sword Sands boost. So Sword Sands coming out. Plus two on attack with Torterra. So yeah, I really do think the play is just to go into Frigoraf and pop Trick Room. 
I think Papa Trickum could definitely benefit a slot. Plus, I think Okie Dogie could potentially be going after Torterra. So in this case, I do believe Terra's going to be play. Or not Terra, a trick. I could go Terra Fire if I want to. But I'm a big fan of this Trick Room. So I'm going to go Trick Room. I'm just going to protect here. And then I'll get after the Okie Dogie next turn. So if I had to guess, I would think Okie Dogie is going after Torterra with probably like a Poison Jab or a Drain Punch. Something along those lines. We'll see what they do. But they can't go for first turn priority moves with a Lemise because of the armor tail. So this could work out really, really good. If, again, if we could just pop the trick room and get cooking, I would love it. The Torterra gets to protect. We're really hoping Okie Dogie goes across and, oh, it goes for a close combat, which we're able to soak really well, but still. Really wanted to come across here. And what's Illumise going for? What are you going to do, Illumise? You're going to go for Infos. You really double down into my, hmm, my Frigoraph? That ain't cool. That ain't right at all. Right now, I get Infestation going. Um... Hmm. Do I pop a nasty plot? I really have infestation. Look at that move. Ugh! It's doing me bad. Doing me real bad. I guess I'll go for a side shock here. A nasty plot. You know what? I'm just gonna deal some damage to Elamize because I do believe it's high horsepower to be able to KO this uh Okie Dogie. And of course he protects her. So not a bad protect. Elamize probably gonna set up the infestation on my Torterra as well, which could get a little scary. Could definitely get a little scary. Could definitely get a little scary. We end up going for the side shock there, doing a little bit of damage in the Illumise, and there is the infestation into my Torterra's. Hmm. So, they got a good read on what moves we want to use. Infestation doing a lot of damage on Torterra. Oh, dude, it's so annoying. It's so annoying, but they got a good read on what we want to go for. Do they have any flying type Pokemon? They do have Dragonite, who they could potentially swap into and dodge this high horsepower. So you know what? I'm just going to double down in the OG baby slot. I'm just going to go for a bullet CD. I'm going to go for a bullet CD. In case he swaps. I, I, I do believe a swap could be coming out here. Yep, and there's the swap. It's a good thing I went into the bullet CD. It could be Dragonite. It definitely could be Dragonite. Or it could be somebody else. Now it's going to be Wellspring Overpond, so we can pretty much just get rid of that. I'm kind of hoping this bullet seed hits five times with KOs. We got the loaded dice on it. That's some big time damage. Maybe four with KO. Well, now we need five. We need five. Can you KO, please? Can you hit for five? Come on, Torterra. Torterra, I need a five from you. I need a five from you. Side Shock's going to fly through here. It is going to KO, though. A good play for us to actually go in the bullet seed instead of high horsepower. Worked out really, really well. Now Inf Infestation comes out here again. And can Frigograph get one more turn out here? Infestation's doing a lot of damage. It's chunking up. Can you survive this Infestation, Frigograph? You do. One HP. We love it. We love it. So we have a turn left in Trick Room. Maybe two. And, we get, and we're trying to get off the value. Because we still have Urshman back in who I really like. I love me some Urshman. And he's going to end up going into Reggie Draco. So Reggie Draco comes out here. And I think from here, what do we want to do from here? We have to attack. Trick him two turns. Do I side shock? Do I hyper voice? I think I'm just going to hyper voice and I'm just going to high horsepower. Might as well, right? He might protect the Reggie Draco. Definitely an option. But I'm really hoping he doesn't. Really hoping they don't. I would love to just hit this thing with high horsepower, potentially KO it, and then go from there, because they do have Okie Doki in the back end. We do have Urshifu with the Choice Scarf. Ends up protecting the right to go. Yeah, it's a spark play. And Tailwind's going to set up. That's okay. It's an okay turn right there. High horsepower's going to get blocked. We still have one more turn left in Trick Room, which is good for us, so Tortyrus can get some value. And actually, that might help out the Urshif in this situation. Hyper Voice is going to fly. We're going to die out the infestation, which is terrible. That noise just bothers me, too. <laughs> just a bunch of, like, bees and bugs killing my Pokemon. But that move is so good. I love that move. So, Frigograph dies to infestation. We get some value with Torterra. And their opponent's actually playing this one really well. I get to bring out Urshfu. I got Choice Scarf on them. They are in Tailwind, and we have one turn left in Shirker. So high horsepower is by far the play into this uh, into this slot. And what do I go into? Do I just Choice into Sucker Punch here? I could Choice into Sucker Punch. I got Choice to move. Wicked Blow might be the play. 
Hmm. I'm to double down in this slot. Oh my, it's annoying me though. I mean, Frigraph's off the field, so it can do its little, its stuffing things now. No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta get rid of this thing. So I'm gonna go Wicked Blow. I'm gonna do High Horse Power. I'm gonna double down into the slot. So he ends up landing a double protect. Of course he lands double protect. Just beautiful. Just just lovely stuff. Luckily Wicked Blow hits to protect. He's gonna end up tricking me and taking away my item and give me the evil light. So Elamize is here. I'm gonna take my loaded dice away from me. Kinda hurts the soul. High horse power is gonna come out here. It's gonna get blocked. That is so annoying. Landing a double protect like that. At least Wicked Blow can come in hot here. I thought I terrestrialized too. I could have sworn I terrestrialized. And I would have done more damage, but sometimes it'd be like that. But at least we get off some damage onto Reggie Draco. That's big time considering it gets a lot of its damage from Dragon Energy. But from here, now I'm definitely going to try slides. I'm going to look to just KO you. Choice into this move. And I'm just going to stick with the high horsepower into the Reggie Draco slot. Not a bad match so far. Our opponent played this one really, really well. Really well. Slowing down the turns, everything. Infestation worked out perfectly, but we're still in this match. We are still in this match. We got Sword Sands for Terra popping off. We got Earth Street ready to go with the Terra type going into the dark. And that kind of scares me because of Okie Doki. But, hmm, it could be tough. Wicked Blow's gonna come out here. We do outspeed, which is gorgeous. So we'll KO the Illumise, which is big time. And we're hoping High Horsepower can just KO this Reggie Draco here. If the Tower can survive, that'd be big time for us. Dragon Pulse can come out here. We should survive that. Wow, 9 HP. That did, did a bit too much. Can that KO? It does. Okay, so now it's a 2v1. And the thing about the 2v1 here is... Okie Doki, big time hitter. But it is Terror in the Poison. If I can land a high horsepower, that will KO. Almost positive. Super effective. It's Stab or Swords Dance plus 2. And he has no double hitting moves, which is great. Plus, we're hitting real hard right now. So I'm going to go high horsepower... I'm gonna go into the the what's it called the wicked blow. And I do have choice scarf, which Urshfu has been outspeeding, which is great. So hopefully it stays here and it outspeeds this Opie Doki because this match has been great, and I would love to end up with a win here. So let's see, let's see how this one plays. All right, wicked blow comes out. It's beautiful. That's beautiful to know that we outspeed. The wicked blow comes out here with the stab boost. That's a big time damage. Who are you going after? He's gonna go for a poison jab. And that pretty much wraps up, right? You have no first time priority, correct? Because Poison Jab KOs this. Yeah, Torterra's gone. But if I say out speeding, I do not believe Okie Dogie has a... Has a what's it called? Has a first turn priority move, correct? So Wicked Blow should just be able to come out here and finish off this match. He ends up protecting. That's kind of dumb, considering I hit through protects. Instead, I hit through protects. It's just a waste of turn. Wicked Blows can come out here. That's going to be the game. We start off 1-0 with an amazing match. Sword Dance Tower Tower gets set up, and then Urshfu in the back end cleans up the mess. Second match is here. Let's go back-to-back -back and start things off with a 2-0 record. But we're going up against a Mimikyu and Aridos. You don't really see Aridos too much on the rank ladder, so it's going to be pretty cool to actually be going up against that. We also have Medicham, Bruxious, and then Fluttermane and Mousehold. So I'm really thinking maybe just setting up for a graph here with Nasty Plot. Could be good with Clefairy. Follow me, Nasty Plot set up, and then potentially Trick Room if need be. I kind of like that. I could definitely get down with that. So you know what? I'm going to do that turn one. I'm going to bring Urshfu in the back end because it was so good in the last match. And then final Pokemon, either Milo or Arcanine. Arcanine's not bad because it has the E speed. But, what? Actually, there's really no buts. I think Arcanine's going to be the play. <laughs> I really do think Arcanine's going to be the play. Yeah. I like Arcanine better than Milo Tick. That's going to be squad. Let's look to go back to back here. That first match was so good. Our opponent played really well, setting up the infestations, wasting out trick room turns for Urshfu, just in the back end. Come on, man. Making it too easy. He's making it too easy for me. Let's see where they end up leading. Mimikyu could definitely be a lead here. And there it is. Mimikyu and Mimikyu. This kind of seems like a team that has like a weird combo that I'm not ready for. And I'm kind of scared of it. I'm definitely scared of it. But from here, definitely follow me. Definitely going into a... Nasty pot here and setting up this plus two boost. So again, they, it looks like they might have some weird combo. Both of them learned first turn priority moves, so for Graph was a solid lead for us with Armor Tail. Med Chandler just fake out and 
Mimikyu learns Shadow Sneak, or usually rocks out with Shadow Sneak. Medicham has Inner Focus, too. I'm curious to see who they go into, or what they go into. The Medicham just protects, that's totally fine, I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that, because I'm setting up a plot full of nasties. We getting nasty with it. The nasty plots. The so follow me comes out here, nasty plot set up, and it's good to know we outspeed that Mimikyu, unless it's going for Trick Room. It is going for Trick Room. So maybe he thought I was going for Trick Room. Thank you for setting up Trick Room for me. I love you. I love you a lot. But from here, I think I'm just going to go... Huh. I would love to just attack that Mimikyu and take off that disguise. But I might just keep targeting down this left slot. I'm going to target down that left slot. I could potentially swap here. Maybe just Intimidate would not be bad. Intimidate would not be bad here. And save Clefairy for later. I'm just going to go after Mad Jam here. I'm just going to go after Mad Jam. I would love if Hyper Voice actually hit up on Mimikyu. But I feel like they wanted to make a read there. And they thought I was going to trick him when I wasn't. So now I end up going for the follow me. Progress should be fast on the field. And it is. Side shot coming out of here. Plus two on that attack board. It's doing some big time damage on the Met Jam. Thunder Punch gonna come out here. We can hit up on my Clefairy all day. And Phantom Force is coming out. So he's dipping away. He is indeed dipping away. So from here, another follow me is gonna come out here. We don't really want to take that Ghost Move. And actually, Ghost Move can't hit me. So you know what? Now it's gonna be a good time to actually swap and save her Clefairy. Maybe go into like Arcanine. Yeah, like Arcanine here. So I'll go Arcanine. I will just go for a side shock into the Medicham with the KO. Even though Medicham might just protect here. So I'll get the Clefairy swap. We know Phantom Force is going into that slot. And I'm kind of hoping this Intimidate work if you're Phantom Force. If you're like out and vanished. Yeah, okay. Mimikyu's attack is still dropping. That's beautiful. And you're not in our focus, Medicham. That's weird. The Medicham ends up protecting. I kind of saw that coming, but I didn't really have options. And a side shock is going to get blocked. The Phantom Force is going to go into Arc 9. Mimikyu is minus one. We don't really mind that. And we should serve pretty well. Yeah, not crazy. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. So from here, I'm gonna rock slide and I'm just gonna side shock into the slot. Now we got we got side. We're looking pretty solid. We got free graph plus two full HP. Looking gorgeous. They set up the trick room perfectly for us. Like they tried making a read here there, and it kinda comes around to bite them. Brock's just gonna get this hard swap. And side shock's going to take off this guy's and move. The disguise is now gone. And Mimikyu's got that red card. Oh no, you red card my Friggy. That's upsetting. That's real upsetting. And you're forced to throw out my Clefairy. That's real upsetting. I had plus two on Friggy cooking. You lucky. You you got lucky. I'll tell you that much. You got real lucky. Rockside's gonna come out here. Crit on the Bruxus, which we love. And I think from here, we're just gonna... Do I Terra? No, there's really no need Terra. I think I'm just gonna go ex extreme speed. I think I'm just gonna look to KO that. Actually, you know what? We'll stick with the rock slides. And we'll just follow me at this point. It's actually not bad that they pulled out Clefairy, but I just wanted my Frigraph out there considering it was plus two. Aqua Jet's gonna fly. We're able to soak that, no problem. And are you going for another Phantom Force? And you're just going for a player up and Clefairy soak it. So if we can land this Rock Slide, which we do, it should be double KO. Alright, single KO. That's fine. That's fine. We'll deal with that. We take out the Bruxus, and now we are just thriving. Now we're just thriving. So they're probably going to bring out back out Medicham for a Fake Out. And at this point, I might hard swap Clefairy into uh, for a Graph. If that's the case. Yeah, there's Medicham. Back out on the field. Fake Out's definitely coming out here. We're going to go another Rock Slide. And I'm going to swap Clefairy for free graph. Reading the fake out. So we're looking to read this fake out. Block it with Armor Tail and then Rock Slide for the double kill. Well, it sounds nice. It sounds real nice for us. It sounds real lovely. So Frigi comes back out here. Show me the fake out. Shadow. Ooh, that works. That works too. Shadow Sneak coming out here with Armor Tail on that. We're not playing around. And Rock Slide comes out here. Okay, so that works. So they didn't go for the fake out. They end up going for Shadow Sneak. And hey. That works too. Makes me look like a genius. <laughs> but there's a double kill, and that pretty much wraps up the match. We still have all four Pokemon. We have Urshfu in the back end, and we are killing it with today's team. That's going to be 2-0.
Because our opponent's just going to cancel the match. Eridos comes out here. Oh, yeah, you're definitely canceling the match. Shiny Eridos. Looks pretty tough. We got a nice little hint of purple. We love it. A flare with you, and on top of that, we'll just go for a Sty Shock. But yeah, that should be matched. They should cancel it out. No way an Eridos is, is going to uh, reverse sweep. But hey, they're going for it. <laughs> they're going for it. Nice little Terra type coming out here. What Terra type you got cooking? Nice little poison. Okay, so you're still gonna. You're still probably gonna die, right? We got Psy Shock. That would be super effective. And we're gonna rip up some damage before Flare Bush here. So Flare Bush comes out here. Wow, that damage is absurd. Real absurd. We get the burn? That's game set match. Eridos, Eridos is just not built for ranked battles. Let's be honest. Side shot coming out here. Yeah, there's a the sweep. They should just cancel the battle. 2 0. Let's go hop to a third. Look for that perfect record. Third and final match loading up here. And we got ourselves a tough one. Nice little meta squad going on with Wellspring, Ogre Pine, Iron Hands, Arcanine, assuming Arcanine, I should say. And then uh, War Moon, Fluttermane, and last but not least, Heatran. Heatran is out here. We're already 2 0, so we already grabbed ourselves a winning record. Love going into the third and final battle with a winning record. But kind of want that perfect one. I kind of want that perfect one. But Meta Squad's always tough to play up against. Um, they're probably going to lead a Pokemon like Iron Hands, which wouldn't be bad, or even Intimidate Arcanine. And I kind of want to go in the free grab here. I think setting up Trick Room's going to be beautiful for us. They have a lot of fast Pokemon. And it's going to be kind of a pain to deal with. So maybe we go for Rigraf and Torterra. I want to bring Torterra in here. Torterra will probably be more so a back-end Pokemon. I could Intimidate right off the rip, too. Hmm. I could just go Urshfu, heavy attack. No, you know what? We're going to go Arcanine. We're going to Intimidate. We're going to bring Torterra in the back end alongside with Urshfu. All right, I'm cool with that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab that winning record. Or, or not winning record. Perfect record. We already got the winning record. That was too easy. That was too easy. But they were solid matches. The second match, we just swept. We played really, really well. But that first match, that one came down to the wire. Always love a good battle, especially recording that comes down to the wire for you guys. So hopefully you guys are enjoying Hopefully, the Genes community is enjoying it. Yeah, I'm super stoked to play uh, Super Mario Wonder later. I'm going to actually record it later. Do a little bit of a doubt. Try to do some double uploads for you guys during this week with both Pokemon and Wonder. Because I really don't want one content to take away from the other. So, double uploads is going to be where it's at. Fluttermane and Ogre Pond come out here. And Intimidate's going to do absolutely nothing. Actually, uh, Ogre Pond is physical attack. So, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. But from here, this is obviously like... Trick Room 101, and I don't have Protect, but I could Terrastalize here into a Fairy type and just look to get after you, right? Yeah, I'm gonna look to get after Fluttermane here and try to pop a Trick Room. So I'm gonna Terrastalize, or no, am I Terrastalize? Yeah, I am, I am gonna Terrastalize my Arcanine. Don't really want to take the Water Shots too much. And we'll go from there, because if I get off the Trick Room, that can actually be really, really good for us. So honestly, Urshfu would have been a great call here. So I could have just dropped a nice little wicked blow. Hit the flutter main even if it protected. it. Chances are it could have fairy terror at that point. But you never know. Jack comes out from flutter main. That's not a bad turn. I mean they're gonna block my flare blitz, but I do get off a trick room, which is pretty nice. Ivy Cudge is gonna come out here, it's minus one, and I'm soaking. It's doing about half HP to me. The flare blitz comes out here, that gets blocked, and now for we're gonna get Friggy with it. Get for Riggy with it, baby, and pop a trick room. Lovely. So we get the trick room out and about. Um, would now be the turn to just pop a nasty pot potentially. Could be. It could be. But I think I might just double down to Ogre Pond. I think I'm just gonna double down to Ogre Pond. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Maybe should have just stuck with the Hyper Voice because Fluttermane has a chance of swapping here. But. We're just going to go into this line. And I swear, if you spiky shield here, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset. If you Out comes a Terra. Is it going to be Mask? No, it's going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane's going to go into the straight fairy type. And yeah, Hyper Voice should have been the play. What are you doing, G? Hyper Voice all day. And a follow me comes out. Okay, so Hyper Voice still would have been a play, but still. We could have Hyper Voice and drop a Rock Slide. The Side Shock's gonna fly here. It's gonna chuck up some nice damage on the Ogre Pond. Rock Slide's gonna come out here and it's missing somebody. Who are you missing? Who's dodging? Of course, Ogre Pond dodged it and Dazzle Gleam's gonna come out here. <clears throat> so hopefully my Pokemon can soak. I know Frigga can. 
awesome. You get a crit on my front rip. That's a bit too much damage. And from here we go Hyper Voice Rock Slide. Hyper Voice Rock Slide. So now that they un or change the typing, no more Ghost, Hyper Voice is definitely the play. And if my moves land, this should be easy double KO for us. This should be easy double KO. And honestly, I probably should have went maybe like Extreme Speed into Ogre Pond and Hyper Voice across the board because I know Hyper Voice is going to be able to KO the... Uh, the Flutter Main. The Flutter Main might end up protecting. It could go for Bomb Me if they want to, but it pretty much just be a waste of a turn. But I think they're really trying to think out what, what they should be doing here. There comes the withdrawal of Flutter Main. So whatever Pokemon comes out here, you're going to have to get Rock Slide and a Hyper Voice. That's going to be Arcanine. So Tintin Arcanine, that's, a, that's not bad. It's not a bad swap. But still, Rock Slide's going to be super effective, on them, even with the minus one. I get down with that. Hyper Voice is going to fly out here. Do some nice damage. Rock Slide, just need you land in here. Take out the Ogre Pond. And of course, it lives on one. Thanks, Intimidate. We get a flinch on the Ogre Pond, though. That's actually pretty massive. That's actually pretty massive. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but from here, you could go for first. Actually, you can't go for first. Prior to this. I got... So, again, Hyper Voice, Rock Slide going to be in play. No, not Flutter Blitz, Rock Slide. And we'll go from there. We chunk up damage on the Flutter Main. We have Ogre Pond low on HP. We also have Arcanine low on HP. And if my Arcanine is slower, which I think it might be, we're going to KO the Arcanine. And we're going to waste out Trick and Turns actually perfectly from the version of the back end. Rock Slide comes out here. Can you land it, Arcanine? Can you land it, please and thank you? I love you. Love you, Arcanine. So even with the Intimidate, it's still thriving. It's still doing big time damage. And we're killing it here in match number three. We are killing it. We still got the Torterra in the back end. We got the Urshfu in the back end. One more turn left in Trick Room, and I feel like these turns are working out perfectly because Ogre Pond can't protect this turn. So they probably go back out in the Flutter Main. Yep, and they're just going to protect Flutter Main. That's a smart play. Probably just going to protect Flutter Main. And I think from here, we just go Hyper Voice. I mean, maybe just swap Arcanine into... I was gonna say we read the protect and then we go into you. Because then at this point we have choice scarf. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm reading the protect all day. I know it's like a weird play to go in the Urshfu here. But I mean if they don't swap or protect Flutter Main, then Hyper Voice should KO. I'm gonna swap an Urshfu here. Have Intimidate for the back end, we have Urshfu ready to go. And yeah, there's protect the Flutter Main. That was that was just an easy. That was just an easy read. That read was way too easy. Hyper Voice is going to come across here. Now we have a Pokemon on the field that's going to be faster with the Choice Scarf Urshfu and we'll pretty much just KO it. I mean, actually, that, that Fairy Terror type is scaring me. It's kind of scaring me. I'm not going to lie, the Fairy Terror type is scaring me. But they're going to show their final Pokemon here. Last Pokemon that we haven't seen. It's going to be Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon's coming out. Hey, okay, Roaring Moon's actually kind of scary. Roaring Moon is actually kind of scary. And I'm going to try to set up another Trick Room. It'll definitely be beneficial for us. And I could go Close Combat and KO you. Actually, do I go Close Combat and KO you? Or do I just go... What would do more damage? I think Wicked Blow, and I think they do the same amount of damage. Do I try to KO the Flutter Moon here? Yeah, I'm going to try to KO the Flutter Moon here. I'm sure he's Scarfed. Cool. Okay, I KO the Flutter Moon. That's big time. That's big time. So by KO and the Flutter Moon, that leaves Warm Moon on the field. And chances are, Warm Moon's probably going for an Acrobatics and Burst Foot. That's why I want to set up Trick Room again. That can work out actually pretty well for us. And it goes for a knock -up. Okay. That, that's that's fine by me. Because now I still have Urshfu on the field. I'm ready to hit hard. So now I go into my final Pokemon. And that's pre that, that pretty much wraps it up, right? Oh no, I still have Arcanine. I could I could intimidate him, but I want to bring out Torterra to finish things off here. Lovely little Torterra. So actually, Torterra doesn't really do much here. Kind of annoying, but I'm just going to throw a Bull Siege around. And I'll go for a Wicked Blow. Actually, do I just Hard Swap? I think I Hard Swap Burst through. Yeah, definitely Hard Swap Burst through. Just so I can reset the Choice Scarf. Because honestly, the Pokemon that I had on the field right there, I kind of looked at the moves and I was like, this could turn out bad if we don't change something up. The swap it in Arcanine is going to intimidate him. This big time physical attacker and acrobatic can come out here and KO 
But on top of that, we reset our choice scarf. And now I can go into close combat and just finish off this Pokemon. Because they don't have Terror type. <clears throat> the Torterra is chilling here, hanging out, gonna drop a bullet seed. Do about five damage each time. But we're hoping for five shots. <clears throat> oh, we get a crit there. Lovely crit. And honestly, with four or five shots, that's not doing bad damage. That's not doing bad damage at all. Four shots, beautiful. That is not doing bad damage at all. But out comes Urshfu. Choice Scarf is now reset. And we're going to look to rip up after this guy. So, actually, I, I totally forgot this thing's not flying. And I can go on the high horsepower. I totally forgot that this Pokemon's not flying. But we reset the Choice Scarf. They cancel the battle, and we grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record in today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, 3-0 perfect record on the Jeans channel yet again. Throw it in the playlist, check it out, awesome. Love this team so much. You had Torterra, you had Furgraph, rocking out with Clefairy, setting up Swords Dance and Nasty Plot very easily, and then back-end Pokemon such as Arcanine and Urshu really help clean up the match and grab us some wins. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.